What's up guys, it's your boy Michael P96. In this video I'm going to be making a tutorial again on colour correction and 1080p settings basically. So what you want to do is open your clip in virtual dub. I've opened my Battlefield 3 gameplay and um, I've added the filters for 1080p. So deinterlace. What you want to add is interpolate using Yadif algorithm and keep bottom field interpolate discard top field then copy that press ok then add no transform and press crop in and crop the video down to your um, thingy like guidelines or whatever you think's right and you know use these for a um, better fine like precise um, cropping then you want to resize it i've put 1920 by 1080 make sure you disable um, check these two um, boxes absolute pixels and disabled and choose lank ZOS 3 then um, I always sharpen it just do this press show press preview and put 50% and then um, you can sharpen it check it however you like I mean I like mine on 40 I mean 40 looks really nice I mean like over time okay um, 40 looks really nice look at that how beautiful does that look? If I put it on 60, it looks a bit 64. Sorry, it looks a bit too thingy. Put it on zero, it looks a bit too um like dull. So I'll put it on 40. I Me mean, can put it higher, it's up to you. But yeah, 40. Then I always add this as well now. A satura saturation, 125. But I couldn't get it on the dot 125, so I just put 125.5. Press OK. Press OK. And there you go. And as you can see, 100% is quite blurry. 25% is quite small. 50% is perfect, so yeah, 75 is a bit too big as well, but you can always do that. There you go. Um, leave it on that. And then um, obviously video compression. I mean, um, if you don't have this compression stuff, guys, um, you can always use um, is it FFD Show codec? I always use that sometimes, and you can put it on H.264 or MPEG4 at 10,000 bit rate or 8,000. But um, if you haven't got DivX, then make sure you uninstall both Virtual Dub and DivX and re download DivX codec and Virtual Dub. Make sure you get 32 bit, even if you're on 30, even if you're, if, if you're on a 64 bit system, make sure you get 32 bit because 32 bit works on 64 and 32. So basically, just get 32 bit, guys. It really does work and you know it should work. So basically, make sure you get DivX first and then make sure you install it and everything first and then open up virtual dub okay so let's press up press configure sorry put it on 1080, 1080 HD profile I put it on 10 don't know why it's on 20 let's put it on 10 don't put that up guys because it takes forever to render then so I put that on 1 press ok ok file save as AVI test for YouTube oops YouTube oh again I messed up save it there you go, okay. Um let's let that do now. It'll take quite a long time. I'm gonna abort it. Then once that's done you open it up in here and you change your project settings to 1080 50 I or 1080 yeah HD 1080 50i and or you can put it on 29 yeah 60 I and then basically copy these settings guys and press OK and then um, you're sorted guys, drag the clip in add um just, just render it guys or add commentaries up to you i use audacity to run do my commentaries but yeah you can use um sony vegas all right guys that's my 1080p settings all right thanks for watching 